Hello and welcome back to Drive Driver Driven. I'm Humble and we're once again back in the garage. I've got Sean here to help me and uh, today we're back on the MK project. Um, we did some paneling last time. We got the floor panels in and now we've flipped the chassis back over and we're going to do uh, the rest of the paneling except for behind the seats. Now, before we get into the paneling, there's one thing uh, that I wanted to try. I've seen elsewhere, and I wanted to see how effective it was. And uh, as with anything that you get powder coated, if you have anything that's threaded, uh, either a threaded boss or uh, threads that go into metal, chances are you'll have powder coat. And you can kind of see in the threads in there that there's, there's powder coat that would gum up those threads. And if we try to send a bolt through that, it'll just bind up. It's also more likely that you could cross thread it or anything like that. What I've done is uh, I've got this assorted brush kit. You can get this off of Amazon relatively cheaply. Uh, it comes in steel, brass, and nylon. And my idea was is that I could just send one of these steel brushes uh, through the hole that would not tear up the threads like it might if you tried to chase the threads with an actual like thread tap that is something you can do is those will cut threads but if we can put this on a drill and just send it through without damaging the threads and we can thread a bolt through there just as easily well that kind of solves the problem without potential danger and so i've already done a few of these holes for the seat belt um and you can see the difference here is you don't have any of that. Uh, that's a better example. Yeah, you don't have any of that powder coat hanging out inside the threads. And so when you just try to put a bolt in there, it threads through very, very easily. And there's a few places on the chassis where you're going to need to do that. Uh, here for the seat belts, uh, down there, there's a boss, and then uh, more visibly seen up here. There's a boss. Uh, these are for brake lines and brake tees. You'll need to hit those as well. Uh, so there's not too many spots, but those are the big ones you're going to hit. Um, there are some threaded bosses here on each side for our uh, scuttle, but these will need to be hit with a, a different kind of brush because uh, it, it may not do for, for like a stud here. So we're going to go through and hit the rest of these, clear these out, uh, and then we'll start on the, the rest of the paneling process here for the interior. Coming out of time lapse, you saw me doing a little bit of work with the panel for the passenger side. And that was because down here at the very bottom, it wasn't notched for this lower rail. And once I added that notch, as the top has here, the panel fits uh, perfectly. So the next step is we need to drill the chassis for the holes that the panel already has. So if you see there, we have holes pre-drilled in the panel. And unlike the floor, uh, the chassis is not drilled for those holes. So what I'm gonna do is pull this up into place. We're gonna send a couple of spots through and then we're gonna use these uh, Coleco pins to hold it and then work our way down the panel and pull everything into place. And then once that's done, we'll be ready to rivet and attach the panel, but we'll have to add some of the sealant again to keep it from rattling just like we did for the floors. So next step, we're gonna drill and prepare these panels for riveting.
Okay, back out of time lapse again. You saw us uh, have to trim the panels in a couple area, uh, but there's a few things that I would suggest when fitting these panels for the first time. So the way we did it is we fit these uh, interior panels on the tunnel first. Uh, what I would suggest is starting with the back, get the back in place, and then deal with the, the tunnel uh, once you have the back just kind of pre-fit. That way you can ensure that everything uh, is pushed forward or backward uh, as much as need to be. Uh, the other thing is when, when you are fitting these tunnel panels, you can see where the seat belt hole is right there. On the other side, you have this little collar for the seat belt. Uh, and that ensures that the seat belt clears the panel and doesn't bind or anything like that. And what I would do is I would just grab one of these out of the seat belt box that you receive and put it in with the bolt. And that way you can ensure that there's enough room all the way around that the panel clears uh, when you're putting this panel into place. Speaking of getting the panel on, uh, we tried it a couple different ways. And if you start with the middle of the panel, like uh, use the clamps to get the panel against the bars, but start with drilling and putting Clecos in to hold the panel in the middle, then go to the bottom, and then go to the top. That seemed to work the best as far as getting the panels to sit the way you needed them to sit, and to ensure that they are relatively flat against the chassis. Um, up here, down in the corner, this was the first area that I needed to trim. I had to cut around this tube because the panel itself was not clearanced for that. I had to do that here. And then on this back panel, uh, I had to sand around these chassis tubes. You can see where I marked it a little bit with Sharpie. And that was just a further clearance around this center tunnel area. But once that was done, all the, fan all the panels sit flush and we could start drilling and inserting all the Clecos to hold all the panels in. Uh, previously, I mentioned that we would glue the panels in, but I think in retrospect, getting this far and leaving it for now is probably the best route. I realize that we still have to drill uh, saddles for uh, wiring and for brake lines and fuel lines up and down the tunnel, and that's just easiest to do without these panels in place. So I think the next step will be to pull these panels back off and then start with the saddles for our plumbing and for our wiring, at least up and down the tunnel area uh, before we seal everything up there. And that'll make it just so much easier to deal with and to get through. So I think that's gonna do it for today. Um, just another quick little job, something that uh, you can knock out in an afternoon pretty easily, even if you need to modify the panels a little bit. And honestly, I would expect that. Um, these panels are kind of a one size fits all. There is a little bit of movement in chassis with welding, etc. So uh, I think it's fair to expect a little bit of fitment, a little bit of clearancing. But as you saw in the video, I didn't have to do too much to get everything to line up. Um, so next time we'll get into more drilling, pre-fitting some of our plumbing and uh, get those saddles in place and then prepare the car for uh, the beginnings of our brake system and pedals. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.